services where you pick everything online and then they send you a box of everything you're supposed to need to make dinner. So the first one to come is called Gobble. So everything kind of comes in its own little bag. Okay, wow, lots of packaging. Wow. Oh wow, cookie dough to make a little dessert. This uses an insane amount of packaging. Um, lots of plastic. Let's see what happens. I just noticed that this says fully cooked already. Ooh. Chicken and biscuits with spring vegetables. So the, the weird peas and carrots and chicken reminded me of like the stuff you see in, in when you get like canned soup. Very mushy. Yep. So the second box to arrive is Home Chef. Exactly like the other one with tons of packaging and an ice pack. All right, green chili aioli already made. I guess if you're looking to challenge yourself and make your own sauces, this is not the kit for you. Uh, but if you're looking for ease, it looks like it's pretty promising. The portions are off, so there like wasn't enough cheese to do all the flautas. There's an extra tortilla, chicken, and then they give you way too much seasoning. There were two packets like this. Uh, I ended up just using So it was easy, really good flavor, and the directions were pretty spot on. Really good. This one gets a solid A minus. Every plate just came today. Pork chili over sweet potatoes. Stuffed jalapeno popper pork burgers. Oh, I got a third thing. Thin crust chicken Alfredo flatbreads. Oh, I was wondering whether or not I was gonna expect you to bake your own bread. They don't, they give you the flatbread. There's more fresh produce in this one than some of the other ones. All the meats, still raw. Okay, let's see what happens. While most of the other kits give you pretty much everything you need minus like a tablespoon or two of olive oil, this one wants you to have butter, flour, sugar, olive oil, and vegetable oil on hand, which might be a little difficult for some people right now. I've had some issues with the ingredients and directions, so I'm going to give this a C minus. Fourth box, Hello Fresh. Again, looks exactly like all the other ones. Hello, delicious meals. Oh, this one. Maybe the packaging is better for the environment because it's paper bags instead of plastic. Chicken sausage soup. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, and one of them leaked. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> so far, just cooking wise, this is my favorite recipe because it's hearty and all the ingredients are fresh minus, um, you know, a chicken stock concentrate. So I'm going away. So it's like fresh chicken sausage, <laughs> fresh sweet potatoes, and then kale. Actual fresh greens. This is exactly what the photo looks like. I mean, it tastes like someone's grandma made it. Um, so I mean, it tastes homemade. I know I just made it, but still, it, it, it tastes like like real like real food. These are the sesame beef tacos. Like the photo. Hmm. They're pretty good. So I'm gonna give this guy an A minus. Purple carrot. All the ingredients inside. Whole head of cauliflower. That's nice. Some nori sheets. Oh, this one has pre-made kimchi. That's interesting. Spicy garlic shrimp and butter beans. actually got a text from them uh, about because of COVID-19, it's continuing to impact deliveries so that you might find some substitutes in your box. They pulled a fast one on me and are requesting a blender. I actually don't have a blender, but I have this nifty mini ninja. 
so we'll use that instead. I got lucky, but just know some of the recipes might require kitchen equipment that you don't have. Looks pretty much like the photo. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's super simple, very fresh. They have you do like a quick pickle and like a chili garlic sauce, it's really good. Ambitious but approachable dishes too. See that Over right there? Uh, okay, so while I was making it, it smelled amazing. Not feeling these tortillas though. That sauce, like I mentioned before, would be good on a shoe. It's really good. All right, Blue Apron just arrived. And all the packaging pretty much looks the same. Happy to see some fresh produce in here. And some rice, not pre-cooked, which is nice. There we go. I feel like the directions break it down into steps that are easily digestible. So first we're gonna these peppers in the oven. It is day a thousand of making at home meal kits. This, not bad, super simple. Um, not super flavorful, but it's good. It's, it's decent. I feel like uh, kids would like this too. I feel like there was like a real sense of accomplishment with this one and the other Blue Apron one because you actually cook a fresh grain, you cook couscous or rice. This is pretty good. This one gets a solid A. The last basket has arrived. It came a day late. Again, not gonna knock them because we're in the middle of a pandemic. This one is Sun Basket. Okay, it said I was gonna get like a free gift with the first one, so it's oatmeal, which is nice. Brown turkey meat. Ah. Uh, oh, gluten free. Apple, fresh carrot. All right, let's see how farm fresh the recipes taste. So I just looked through the entire box, uh, underneath all the packaging, everything, and uh, there are no recipes. <laughs> um, so I'm using the directions online for the ground turkey meatballs. It gives you organic mirepoix. It has it in the list of ingredients, but I read through the instructions 10 times and at no point in the recipe do you use it. So I'm going to leave it out because again, I don't know where you're supposed to put it, um, but noting there seems to be extra, extra ingredients in this one with no recipe. This is just gonna be my lunch buddy today and it's okay, I can use it for something else in the future. Pasta's fine. I don't mind gluten-free pasta. It was nice to get pasta right now because it's hard to find it at the grocery store. Salmon tastes good. Um, it's not fishy. Way better than the tuna that was in that other box. It's kind of a weird salad. It's just roasted carrot with apple and salt and pepper. The fish gets an A, but the salad gets a C. So we're gonna give this a B. We made it to the end of cooking seven different delivery meal kits. Uh, now I'm going to evaluate all of them. I'm awarding overall worst to gobble. The instructions aren't that clear. So for instance, this one said to, it gave you like big pieces of cauliflower and it told you just to break them apart with your hands rather than like chopping them. So if you do that, some pieces are gonna be gigantic, some are smaller. So in the finished dish, some were kind of raw and some were overcooked, so not great. Second overall worst was da -da -da, every plate. Um, all of these were easy to make. If you're looking for something on par, with like what you'd find at your local high school cafeteria. This is the meal kit for you. Best kit if you have specific dietary needs is Sun Basket. Selections based on whether you're watching carbs, if you're gluten-free, if you're paleo, vegetarian, uh, pescatarian, diabetes-friendly vegetarian. You can basically make any dietary restrictions happen with them. They weren't super easy, but they were easy enough. Best value for your money goes to HelloFresh, a company based in Berlin. They all had lots of fresh ingredients in them, so there wasn't a lot of pre-made sauces, and they encouraged you to season things to taste, so it was like you were in control of your meal. It was solid, 
delicious food, nothing too exciting, but I mean, this soup was delicious. It tasted like someone's grandma made it. Best kit for non-cooks. If you have no idea how to cook and you barely know what your spatula is, Home Chef is for you. Um, it, it also asks you if there's any foods to avoid, if you want a recipe that's done within 15 minutes, so really good if you don't know how to cook. But I mean, it, it's simple, good food, um, kind of like a dependable boyfriend who's not that exciting. This is the runner up to the best kit. So this was the second best overall, was Blue Apron, which was one of the original meal delivery kit companies. And I think it's the most well known. One thing you should look out for is portion size. So I actually was happy with the portion size because it wasn't too much food. And I think it's how much we're supposed to eat. But if you're someone who's used to really big portions, this is not the meal kit for you. Almost the best kit. Okay, number one, which one was the best one? Purple carrot. So this one actually happens to be a plant-based meal kit. So everything in here is plant-based. Um, I am not plant-based. I don't follow a plant-based diet, but I thought the food was delicious. You can choose a couple dietary restrictions. You can do gluten-free, soy-free, uh, high protein, nut-free. These tacos were delicious. The tofu was delicious, but this tortilla was one of the worst tortillas I've ever had. Other than that, the food was great. The cauliflower steaks tasted like something you would get at a restaurant. The recipes were easy to follow. They were fun and inventive. And this is, I think, overall the best kit you can find out of the seven I tried on the market right now. Also wanted to note that, yes, I was making a ton of food, but I was feeding my family, so nothing went to waste. Thank you guys for watching. I am so tired of doing dishes. I never want to see another dirty dish again. But uh, yeah, stay safe and healthy, everyone. Thanks. Cody, we're doing this last one again because my sister said I said too many ums. So we're going to do it again. Second worst one goes to every plate. Uh, crap, I just did it again. <laughs>